What's up guys, Jeremy here back with Method Evolution and we have our advanced workout for this week. Very first workout of the week, we're going to do supersets. Okay, so we're going to be working each muscle group twice before we move on to the next. So keep that in mind as we do our first muscle group which is legs. What we're going to do is we're going to start off, all you need is a bench for this one. We're going to start with our Bulgarian squats. Throw one toe up on the bench. Keep your body straight as you squat straight down and up. All the pressure is on this leg right here, coming up straight up through the heel. Straight down and up. Let's go 15 each side, and then you'll switch 15 on the other side. Once you guys get through those, you're going to go ahead and stay on the bench. We're still working the legs, okay? So what we're going to do is a single leg squat. Hands right on the shoulders. Other knee foot is up in the air and you're going to stand up on one leg. Make sure you go nice and slow back down to the bench so you don't crash and straight up. Once again, we'll do 15 each leg, just like such. If you need a little bit of help, if this is a little bit too advanced for you, press off with the heel on the opposite leg just a little bit, just enough to get yourself back up there and then raise it back up on the way down. All right, so 15, 15, 15, and 15 each leg. Then we're going to move to the chest. We're going to do this on our incline bench. Now, if you don't have access to an incline bench and you just have a flat bench, that's okay too. But try to get on an incline if you can for this one. Real simple, we're going to do a dumbbell chest press. Make sure you have these 90 degree angles right here in your arms before you start. Here's the starting motion and the ending motion right here. Straight up above the eyes. Make sure you guys are breathing. Make sure that weight is as heavy as you can lift for these 15 reps. Don't go easy on yourself now. After you've completed that, you're going to come over to your bench again. And this time we're going to do close grip push-ups. Now, close grip push-ups are about the same as regular push-ups. The only difference is we're bringing our hands in a little closer and we're going to let our elbows scrape against our sides. So we're going to keep our elbows close into our sides. Don't flare them out. Keep them in. Press it straight back up and down. We'll go ahead and do 15 of these. If you need to modify them, get on your knees. Go ahead and do modified push-ups. All right, so there's the chest. Now, we're going to come back and grab one of our dumbbells. And we're going to do single arm rows. All right, I'm going to tell you how to make this a little bit more advanced for yourself. Opposite hand and opposite leg are, are forward. Other leg will go straight up in the air. As you row this weight up, try to maintain your balance as much as possible. If that's too difficult, just simply drop it down and keep moving with it. We're going to go 15 each side. Once you're done with one side, go ahead and repeat on the other. Once again, keeping the leg up if you can. All right. Once we're done with that, we're going to do our last one for the back. This is going to require a cable machine and a handle. Go ahead and let the cable machine go all the way to the top. And you're going to kneel down with it. Opposite leg is forward of the arm that you're working. So if I'm working with my right arm, I'm going to put my, op my left leg forward. Stay up nice and tall as I pull this down, back and behind me. Just one arm at a time. Single arm rows. Get it as far back behind you as you can. And once again, keep as much weight on there as you can. Once we get 15 each side, we'll go ahead and switch it. Okay, so that takes care of all your main core muscle groups. Now we're going to move to the stomach. Okay, we're going to do two in a row for the stomach, just like everything else. We're going to start with a V sit up. Now, a V sit up is like such all the way down and back up. If this is too difficult, what you can do is you can place your hands on the ground and continue going with it. But this is the advanced workout, so we want to keep going with it without our hands. Once you're done with that, we'll do 20 of those and we'll do 20 pikes. So what a pike is, is I'm all the way out fully extended. As I bring the medicine ball to my legs, I'm going to crunch 
and meet both my hands and my legs right in the middle of my body. As you go back down, do not touch the ground with either the medicine ball or your feet. 20 of those. If that gets too difficult, you'll do 10 each side. If you can't do both feet, make sure you just do 10 each side for a total of 20. And then that's your stomach exercises. Okay, once you guys have done two sets for each muscle group, you guys are going to go and choose whichever cardio you like to do, whether it's biking, rowing, running, swimming. You're going to do that for three minutes. As hard and as fast as you can go for three minutes, come back and try to repeat another circuit of this. If you guys have time, you can do three circuits, but at least another one after your first one. It's been a real pleasure seeing you guys out on Saturdays. I hope you guys continue the motivation, continue with your results and your success. We'll see you guys later.